Hey guys, Chris Cook in Nashville here. It is keto and carnivore ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And in the keto version of it, I'm gonna show you how to use Keto Chow's brand new flavor, fruity cereal. Let's take a look at the amazing keto and carnivore versions of ice cream today. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do this carnivore ice cream base, and then I'm gonna show you how to include Keto Chow if you want to up the protein and make it a keto flavored ice cream very simply. So the ice cream base itself is carnivore. You can decide whether you wanna add the sweetener to it or not. If you don't, totally fine, totally carnivore. And then if you wanna make it keto, I'm gonna show you how to use the Keto Chow so you can add different flavors. This will work with any flavor of Keto Chow, but we're gonna try it with the new fruity cereal from Keto Chow. This stuff looks absolutely amazing, and I can tell you from opening the package when I was making this that it smells just like that fruity cereal in the box that we're all used to. So we're gonna see what Miss Ash thinks because I didn't particularly care for this fruity cereal in the box normally as a kid, but she really loved it. So she's gonna try this fruity cereal ice cream and I might even give it a shot too. Very brave of you. Yes. I'm excited. I love, oh man, I can already tell this is gonna be good. It's like frozen. Fruity cereal. Wow, it's good. Your ice cream is amazing. Really, really good flavor. The fruity cereal is an interesting flavor, but I could see where it would make a really great milkshake or ice cream. This is like super different. It's super refreshing. I love fruity cereal, but I'm a big fan of this. I also think your ice cream is really, really good. I like how I can taste, it's like creamy and vanilla-y kind of mm -hmm. tasting. I don't even know if you put vanilla in it or what, but it tastes delicious. Yeah, it's also very thick fatty. With the keto chow, it's very high protein. Even without the keto chow, it's actually high protein, very high fat. And like I said, the sweetener is optional. If you want to remain really clean as far as the carnivore stuff, but you're okay with dairy, you can totally make this. So let me show you guys how we do the carnivore ice cream base. And then what you can do to take your favorite flavor of keto chow, maybe use this fruity cereal version and make your own flavored ice creams at home. No churn, Super simple, make it, throw it in the freezer, and it's ready to go the next day. All right, thank you to Keto Chow for sending this fruity cereal. We are gonna need one pack of your favorite flavor of Keto Chow if you wanna flavor it. We are going to need a little bit of water. This is about a half of a cup just to help dissolve our Keto Chow. And then we're going to need a full two cups of heavy whipping cream, as well as two eggs, which we're going to be using the yolks from. Make sure you have a big bowl and let's get to making some ice cream. So this is extremely simple. We are going to add two cups of heavy cream into this bowl. Make sure this is cold straight from the fridge. Then you can use the water to rinse out your cream container right here. Now we're gonna take our packet of keto chow and dissolve that in this water. If you do want to sweeten your ice cream further, now is the time to add some sweetener. I'm just adding about two to three tablespoons of allulose to my cream. You can use any sweetener you prefer and however much you like. So the first thing we're going to do is whip our cream until we get a nice, soft, whipped cream texture. Once we have a soft whipped cream, we're gonna go ahead and take our mixer out. And this is the texture you're looking for right here. We're gonna go ahead and separate our two eggs to add our egg yolks into this whipped cream. Now we're gonna mix these yolks into the whipped cream really well without whipping the cream too much more. You'll see a slight yellow color to the whipped cream. Now that whipped cream is ready, I'm just gonna use a stick blender to mix up this keto chow. You can mix it up however you want. You just want it really well combined into the water. And it is going to get thick, but that's exactly what we want. Now we're gonna add this thick keto chow mixture in on top of the whipped cream and try to spread it out in several pieces so that it's not all one lump in the center. I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, totally optional, but I decided that would be really nice. 
Now you just mix the keto chow into this whipped cream, but try not to over mix so that we can preserve as much of that whipped air as possible. And there's our ice cream mixture. All we need to do now is freeze it. Place your completed ice cream mixture into a large bowl. Now I'm just gonna smooth out the top and we're gonna grab some plastic wrap to cover it with. And hey, look there, there's all of our salty from Keto Chow. Make sure to go check that out. My link is down below. So now let's use some plastic wrap just to cover this ice cream in the freezer. Just to make sure that it doesn't form a weird skin, I'm going to push the plastic wrap down into the bowl against the ice cream. And now it's off to the freezer overnight so that it gets nice and firm. Now it's time to take some of this amazing ice cream the next day and dish it up. All right guys, that is the fruity cereal ice cream, the keto ice cream. And of course, if you leave that keto chow out, you have an amazing carnivore ice cream base. I've been looking forward to sharing this one. I've been making this for a long time. I think the first time I came up with my way, at least of doing this ice cream base, which is very similar to how other people do ice cream in the keto and carnivore world. The way that I do it, my particular ratios and how I did it. I think the first time I did this was three years ago yeah. when we first started doing keto stuff and I was making chocolate ice cream for her there at the beginning to kind of get us through some of those cravings. This is super good. You can do it with any flavor of keto chow that makes you happy. Keto Chow, we love you guys. We appreciate everything you do. I love all the cool new flavors that you keep coming out with. They are so much fun to experiment with and I love creating recipes for this. So thank you so much for letting me work with you. Guys, my Keto Chow link is down below and there's a discount code for 10% off. You can go get yourself some fruity cereal flavored Keto Chow, which is gonna be out now when you see this video. You can also get yourself the salty electrolyte packets that we love so much, any of the other flavors of Keto Chow. There's all kinds of great products there, whether you are keto, Ketovore or even Carnivore just looking for plain electrolytes. They even have those with those daily minerals and the different things they do. They're an incredible company and Chris and Miriam and I tend to work with Lynette a lot and Lori and just everyone there that I have worked with. They are all such wonderful people. They work so hard to be such a great company that is forthcoming about what they do and just putting out good products. And if those products work for you and your keto, ketovore, or carnivore diet, they're more than happy to send you some. Go check out Keto Chow, my link is down below. Make sure to click that. Let them know that Chris Cook and National sent you and if you get a chance, buy some of this Keto Chow and make some of this Keto Chow ice cream with my carnivore ice cream base because you won't be disappointed. Super, super tasty. That's all we got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to go check out Keto Chow. This is Chris Cook in Nashville, my beautiful wife, Ash Taylor. Eat your meat, sometimes your ice cream. Love your life. We'll see you right here in the kitchen for the next recipe and maybe some more keto chow. What if I told you that I got a brain freeze? That's good.